Now let's see this. f of a comma b equal to a prime b. It is similar to the previous one with a bit of difference. Now again we had to verify that it is functionally complete or not. How can you verify it? Uh, but first thing is you should definitely try for a complement. In order to get a complement you should get rid of one of the variables. The way, only way to get rid of one of the variables is putting everything to be same. So if I put f of a comma a then I could get rid of b. Then, But then what is happening is a prime a. In place of b I put a then I am getting this which is nothing but 0. If you try to get rid of uh, a completely which means b comma b if you try with this then you are going to get um, b prime b which is again 0. Therefore you are not able to get rid of uh, one when you try to get rid of one of the variables you are actually getting 0 or 1 not the negation of the other one. So it is looking as if we may not be able to get negation at all. But then if you observe it in this case if I put b equal to 0 since negation is already present in the expression maybe I will try to remove everything and I will try to make it up somehow. See this? Now if I put in place of b uh, a1 then what I get is f of a comma b equal to a complement sorry f of a comma not b f of a comma 1 which means in place of b I am putting 1. In place of b if I put 1 then I get f of a comma 1 equal to a complement. So what do you understand from that? We are able to get the complementation. Now let me see if I could get either or or and. So uh, it, is, you know, it is looking that getting a and is very straightforward. How? In place of a if you put a complement then this entire term is going to be a. Then a with b is a, a and b. Therefore here I should get a, a complement. If I have to get a complement here I should get a complement here. How could I get a complement there? I already got it right. Therefore f of f of a comma 1 comma b it is nothing but already a complement right a complement comma b which is nothing but a complement whole complement concatenated with b which is simply a b so i got and as well as not so what can you say this this particular expression is functionally complete but then it is not actually functionally complete uh, the reason is we are taking support from 1. So f comma 1 is functionally complete therefore f is partially functionally complete which means if you add 1 to f you are able to make everything but then without 1 it is uh, not complete therefore it is partially functionally complete. So it is partially functionally complete got it.